first it's your reaction that this is, you know, has any connection to this area. Right. What's your reaction? I'm devastated. I mean, you know, I grew up with him. I'm a little bit older than he was, but, you know, he was a kid. We ate barbecue together. I, he was in my backyard. We grew up together. They've, we've been here. I've been here since 68. They've been there since 71. His mother, my mother, my father, we've all gone to one another's funerals. He was at my mom's funeral. He was at my, uh, well, not my mom's funeral. I was at his mom's funeral. Let's just come up here. They're close. I recognize you. We'll, we'll all get okay. out of here. <laughs> we'll be out of here quickly. Okay. Go ahead. Same, just go on. Who, what do you know about him? Yeah. Nothing what I saw on television. Uh, you know, as you could tell, he was an interviewer. He was well-spoken, very polite, educated. I never seen this coming. I don't know why. You know, I never seen it coming. You know, what can I tell you that you don't already know? You know, he was a very personal man, very nice, you know, very nice and respectful. I've never seen this coming. What was your first reaction when you saw what happened? Disbelief. Disbelief. I, I first saw it, they showed the people who got shot, and then I didn't know who, who did it, you know. Then I see Vester, little Vester. No, I mean, it's, it's right now, I can't wrap my head around it right now. It's just a nightmare. Have you seen him at all in the last two years? No, okay. no. Last time was at his mother's funeral? Yes, right? yes. Yeah. yes. So, you, so you followed his career, you knew that he was a reporter? You yes, know, yes, yes. And obviously... Everybody here must have been very proud of that. Right. But, you know, he lived in Virginia. So, I don't know. What do you I, want I, people to know about him at this point? That, I don't know. This is totally out of his character. I don't, I've never seen it coming. You couldn't, right now, you couldn't tell me that he did, he did that. I don't, I can't believe it. And I don't, I'll never believe it, but I, it happened. And, and you said you kind of felt like maybe something snapped? Of course. It had to, you know. Sometimes the pressures of life will get to you. You can have a nervous breakdown. You know, we all do. You know, but to go that far, you know. Because some of his former employees had actually said that he had had issues with anger previously. He'd actually lost I've never seen purpose. that in my life. Never saw that? No. Yeah. No. Did you hear that he sent actually a kind of a suicide note? In yes. The yes. Years? Yes. He, talked, he actually talked about how he admired the Virginia Tech killer uh, and the, the individual who did what they did in Columbine. What can I say about that? I'm not a psychologist. I can only say anyone would walk into a movie theater and shoot the place up, something's wrong. So I, I don't know what it's, it, you know, I, I'm not in, I don't know what he's was, was thinking about. I would never do that. Right. So now you went to high school. I'm, I'm older than he is. A little, a little bit older? Yes. Right. But, but you both went to Skyline? Yes. And so you just grew up in the neighborhood together. You spent some time together. Yes. What was that like back then? What was what was he like? What did he do? A kid, a soft-spoken kid, and he became a, a tall, handsome man. Well-spoken, very respectable. Mr. Barker, Mrs. Barker. So I don't, I don't know. Just like everybody else, you're just trying to figure yeah. out what, how the hell this yeah. happened. Yeah. Thanks for talking to us. Please. Okay. Let's get a couple quick shots of us sitting here. Is, is, is there anything specifically that you can remember about him that kind of stands out as, as to who he kind of, something that he did that you saw or, or you were oh, around yeah. for or whatever? That, that no, no, that just, you know, no. No, I mean, like, you know, was, was he one of those kids who, you know, would mow everybody's lawn in the neighborhood? Or Somewhat, or yeah. So, so he was helpful, everybody yes. really liked him? Yes. This is totally out of his character. I don't believe it. But that's all I can say. You know, what do you want me to tell you? I'm in shock right now. I spoke to his sister yesterday and his niece yesterday. And now today when she comes home, I'm going to have to figure out what am I going to say to her. I'm sorry. I feel sorry for you. What can I say to her? She doesn't even know. She's dealing with the tragedy of the people being shot and her brother shooting himself. So, you know, his niece, his nephews, what are they going to, you know, what am I to tell them? So. So you've remained close with the family the whole time? Yes. Yes. I have her phone number right now. 
I have his work number, her cell phone number. And she's a principal, is that right? That's his older sister. I don't want to delve into that personal right, life. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to push her. Okay. okay. So do you know if she knows? Well, I'm not sure yet. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure she knows by now. Mm -hmm. um, I've tried to phone her, and she's not answering. Her sister, no one's answering. So I'm pretty sure she knows. The sister's a hardworking woman, a single mother. She raises her kids. Um, and that's in the house where he grew up? Yes, right across the street. Okay. And um, she... Uh, Went to work every day diligently. Her kids all had after school programs, playing soccer. We had to have an after school program. She stresses education. This is just, we're dumbfounded. Your mom was a, a teacher herself. Yes, yes, well respected. Here in Oakland. Yes, yeah. Betty Flanagan. Mm -hmm. Well respected. Tell us about it. Right? Yes, she, she worked at several schools. Yeah. Yes. Well, thank you. Um, I appreciate you talking about it. Please call.